hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is amaka arunze again i know yeah i know it's been forever don't judge me i have no excuses but you know what i recently moved into a new apartment and i was like this would be a perfect opportunity to get back into youtube i can film the process of you know the tour of the apartment and i thought it would be great so here i am and um I actually started off like doing the behind the scenes process of moving in, like the couch, setting up, all of that. But and then I realized that nobody really wants to see that. Everyone wants to just see like the actual apartment, the final stages. Nobody wants to see behind the scenes. So knowing that, let's get right into it. You come in here and, and this is the kitchen. I love how like I just love it. It's cute. And then this is the sitting room. Also, I got the table from Facebook Market actually. It was about 350. Yeah, but I like it. It's I just liked it. I think it was, you know, it matched the vibe of the apartment. Um then I got this little artificial plant here. I got it from Home Science. It was about um $19. And then I love this. Oh my gosh. Like I looked for this everywhere and it's either it was too expensive or the uh, delivery time was so far. Um, but then I eventually got it from Canadian Tire. Like you'd be shocked. So I got this from Canadian Tire. It was for I think 150. I love it. It's so like it's perfect. I'm going to replace the base um but yeah for now it, it works and then uh i love the tv like the size i think this is 55 inches and we got it from sony no actually it is sony but we purchased it from the furniture store at leon's yep it cost a thousand dollars um the tv stand we got from ikea and honestly it's perfect but honestly like ikea has so many options so this one this one cost i believe it was less than 300 dollars for sure and then this rug we got from somewhere from one of the local stores here in, in the city um perfect i love it because it really matches like the the uh the single chair we have over there it, it cost i think hmm, 200 dollars yeah 200 dollars ish and this chair which is one of my favorite things in the apartment i actually this is from wayfair actually but i didn't actually buy it from wayfair i actually got it from facebook market for actually i wanted it from wayfair but they didn't have the color like they had like red colors like yellow and I, I wasn't sure if i wanted to work with yellow in the apartment so they had like yellow blue and then this color was sold out so when i actually checked facebook market and i saw it i'm like yes for sure I'm not sure if you can see because of the lighting. Let me go over here and see. Yeah, it's it's like a rose velvet color. It's it's so cute. And yeah, the sun just came out bad. So well, so these are work here. Oh, I just got this. I got it from Home Sense. Originally, it was priced at like two hundred dollars. I saw the price reduction from like two hundred to like hundred and fifty, and then I finally got it at seventy dollars. So I'm like, yeah, this is a steal. I'm taking it. I love it. What else? Oh, the couch. Duh. So this couch we got from Leon's as well. I remember thinking, oh, this may be too small, but it turned out to be perfect. The couch costs a little over a thousand dollars because I love it. And honestly, I got the warranty for like stains because I have a toddler that maybe made everything go up to like a thousand five hundred dollars plus tax and everything, including tax rather. Um, but yeah, it's perfect so fuzzy love it so soft oh my gosh i got this from home science actually yeah it was about like 40 dollars or so but it's so cute and i thought it would like match the um you know the signature here and uh after that we'll go over to the office so this is like my little office space i want to do some things to the wall and you know but i'm not i've not figured that out yet but like Honestly, I got this chair from one of the furniture stores in like Toronto. Nothing major. The table is from IKEA. And that's just work, work stuff. 
also quick shout out to my girl vicky she helped me get this place honestly if you're looking to buy a property a house you're looking to lease rent whatever vicky got you just check her out on instagram at thai homes i'll put um her instagram name on the description box so my husband and i have been debating over like putting stuff over the tv see how there's like a lot of space there um i wanted to put like little blocks of like family pictures there he thinks that um nothing should go over the tv i'm not sure who made that who made that law but <laughs> i think i should put something there even if it's not pictures maybe it could be like you know some some kind of assets right um but he says no but let me let me know what you think if it was you what would you put there or would you leave it blank and that's about it yep and that's about the apartment let me know if you have any questions uh have, feel free to um you know just comment below also please let me know what you would do to that wall over there i really want to know um and yeah thank you for watching bye